She's a Mona Lisa. Everyone's lining up to see her. Today, I'm going to be transforming myself from a soft girl to an ABG Asian baddie type of look. For this video, I'm going to first transform myself into a more soft aesthetic. And then after that, I'm going to transform myself into the ABG Asian baddie type of look. So my goal here is to see how different I can look from a soft girl to an ABG. Also, I'm going to put outfits on and change my hair up to make myself look as different as possible as an ABG. Honestly, I don't really know how I'm gonna work with this hair though for an ABG look because for the soft girl makeup, I'm not gonna really do anything too different from my everyday makeup. So I'm just gonna do like peachy light tones, a lot of blush. So to start off, I'm using this primer. I usually never prime my face. By the way, my ear is so swollen here. I had a piercing here before and I took it out like two months ago, but it's still like swollen, so. I'm now gonna do concealer, which I need desperately under my eye bags. They're like purple almost. It's because I've been sleeping at like 6 a.m. for the past few weeks. <laughs> so I don't think that's healthy, but I haven't been living a healthy lifestyle since quarantine started. Now I'm going to use this cushion for my foundation. This is what it looks like. For brows, I'm just using this brow pencil that I always use. So for the soft girl makeup, I'm going to be using products from VT Cosmetics. Thank you to VT Cosmetics for sending me these products. So for the eyeshadow, I'm going to be using this super tempting eye palette. This is actually VTX BTS. This is what it looks like. These are the shades. I'm gonna first use this shade right here. I'm gonna put this right on my eyelid like this. Now I'm going to use this color right here. I'm just gonna darken up the outer corners a bit with this color. Now I'm going to be using my 3CE palette. I'm gonna use this shade. I'm going to use this Just Peachy palette now. So I'm just gonna dip into Just Peachy. I'm gonna put this on top to make it a bit more pink. Now I'm going back to this palette and I'm going to be using this shimmery shade right here. It's perfect for the aesthetic I'm going for right now. And I'm just going to put this right on top of the eyeshadow. For my lash line, I'm going to be using this color right here. For mascara, I'm using this VT Cosmetics Triple Power Mascara. The packaging is super cute. I'm just gonna curl my eyelashes one more time with mascara, which I feel like is a crime, but sometimes I do it because it makes my eyelashes curl a lot better. As you can see, this is probably why I have like five eyelashes left. <laughs> For eyeliner, I'm gonna do a more subtle brown type of eyeliner because I feel like soft girls don't wear heavy thick liner. So I'm just gonna take this angled brush and this darker shade of brown I feel like glitter is an essential to soft girl makeup. So I'm gonna use this glitter eyeliner from VT Cosmetics. Now, one of the most important parts is the blush. I'm gonna use this blush that I use for my everyday makeup and I'm gonna put a lot on my cheeks because soft girls love blush. I'm also gonna put a lot on my nose Now I'm gonna do freckles. It looks kind of stupid, but I do feel very soft. I'm just wondering how I'm gonna look with ABG makeup after this. Now for my lips, I'm going to use this lip tint from VT Cosmetics. This is what it looks like. It smells so good. It smells like Maynard's. This is in the shade 05. This is the color. It's super cute and perfect for the aesthetic I'm going for. To make this a bit more dark, I'm using this Peri Para Ink Moist and I'm just going to put it in the inner and blend it in. Now to make this even more soft, 
I'm going to put glitter freckles. I'm going to use these glitters right here. So this is what it looks like. I'm just gonna kind of like put that right here. Okay, I need to sneeze. <coughs> oh my god. This is what it looks like. I feel too soft now. So this is my soft makeup look complete. Now I'm gonna change my hair and my outfit and put some accessories on and I'll be back with the full soft transformation. So this is the full transformation I have. I put these pink clips in my hair. So for my top, I changed into this baby pink lace tank top. And then I'm wearing this sweater on top. It's so hot outside, but I'm just wearing this for the video. But it's super cute. I feel like I have so much pink going on, especially with my hair. I'm going to go and take all this off and I'm going to transform myself into an ABG now. I'm back with my bare face and now I'm going to do the ABG look. I'm not going to be using a lot of Korean products for this. I'm using more Western products. I'm going to start off by priming my face again, but this time I'm going to use this Chanel primer. I'm just going to put that all over my face. I'm going to do foundation now using this NARS foundation. I actually never use foundation for my makeup, so do full coverage. This feels so weird because I'm not used to like putting a full face of foundation on. Also, I think this is a bit darker than my shade because this is my sister's foundation. Now I'm gonna do my concealer. I'm gonna bake my face now. I've never baked my face before, so I don't really know what I'm doing. Okay, so I figured out how to use the baking powder. I feel so stupid, but... Um... <laughs> Am I doing the right thing? Honestly, I don't even know what baking does. I feel like I look really gray. It's because the lighting right now is so bad. I'm gonna let that bake. For brows, I'm just gonna use the same brow pencil, but this time I'm gonna try making my brows a lot darker. I'm gonna brush it out so it doesn't look too harsh. For eyeshadow, I'm using these two palettes. I'm probably gonna just do like a dark brown smoky eye. I'm first just gonna do like a base shadow. I'm gonna use a darker brown, this one right here, and just put it on my crease kind of. I'm gonna make this darker, so I'm gonna use this dark shade right here. I'm gonna use the Modern Renaissance palette and make this even darker. So this is what my eyeshadow looks like right now. I'm gonna do the bottom lash line. I'm just using the same color as before and I'm just darkening it up right here. I'm gonna wipe the bake off now. I don't really know what that did, but now I feel like this part is really gonna make it look more ABG. I'm gonna do my eyeliner using this. I'm gonna go for like a big wing. I don't know if that's big enough, but I'm just gonna do the next side. So I have both the wings done. I feel like they're not big enough, but I'm gonna try putting lashes on and see how it looks. For lashes, I'm just gonna use these. They make such a big difference. I feel like these lashes kind of cover my eyeliner, so I'm gonna make my eyeliner a bit thicker. I'm also just going to retouch my eyeshadow a bit because I feel like it doesn't really show up on camera. So so this is what I have so far for my eye makeup. This is so different from my everyday makeup. I'm going to do contour now. I also never contour. I just don't really like how contour looks on me, but I'm going to do it for the ABG aesthetic. I have this bronzer right here. I'm so stupid and I just realized I forgot to put the contacts in. So I'm gonna have to put the contacts in now while I have all my makeup on, which is so hard. Oh my God, I'm so stupid. Okay, one failed attempt. I'm starting to tear up. 
I'm back and I look like I just cried. It was so painful to put the contacts in, but basically I couldn't put the icy blue contacts in because they were stinging way too much. So then I just had to put these like blue gray contacts. There's not a big difference. Now for lips, I'm gonna use this Kat Von D lipstick. This is in the shade Lolita. I'm gonna put like another color on top because I feel like it's just too dark. I'm gonna put this VT Cosmetics lip tint on. This is the shade 04. Now I'm gonna do blush. I'm just gonna use the same blush as before. This time I'm gonna focus more on my cheekbones, not like the apples of my cheeks. Now I'm gonna highlight my face. I always forget to highlight my face for some reason when I do my everyday makeup. I'm gonna use this Fenty Beauty highlight. I wanna get that ABG glow. I feel like that wasn't enough, so I'm just gonna use the Becca highlight. Since there's no sunlight, I feel like you can't really tell. Just to add a bit more to this look, I'm gonna use this 3CE Eye Switch, which is this really pretty hollow glitter type of thing. So I think this is the completed makeup. I feel like I do look a bit different. This is like the opposite of my everyday makeup look. Now I'm going to straighten my hair. I'm just gonna put dry shampoo in my hair cause it's kinda greasy. I honestly don't know how I'm gonna work with this pink hair with this ABG look. While my straightener is heating up, I'm gonna put some accessories on. I'm just gonna put a bunch of rings on because I don't know, ABGs have rings. <laughs> so I just have this. I'm also gonna do a nose ring. I have this fake nose ring like this. So I straightened my hair and I changed into this dress. Now I'm gonna put these hoops in. I'm gonna say goodbye to these soft butterfly earrings. <laughs> Both hoops are in. I'm gonna change my necklace now. This hair really doesn't fit my look right now. I have this necklace right here. I'm back and this is the full ABG transformation. My sister added this fake tattoo on my collarbone. I feel like the hair ruins it. Oh my god, you sneeze. <coughs> my allergies are so bad. Oh! I'm really happy with how it turned out. I just feel so different because... So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I had a lot of fun filming it and seeing how different I can look as an ABG. <laughs> and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.